In the golden age of silent cinema, amidst the flickering lights of the silver screen, one name stood out like a beacon of grace and talent, Virginia Fox. Virginia Fox was born on April 2nd in 1902 in Wheeling, West Virginia. Not much is widely documented about her early life, including her family background or childhood experiences. However, it's known that she ventured into the entertainment industry during the silent film era, beginning her acting career at a young age. Within this speech, I will be discussing the life and fame of Virginia Fox, a famous West Virginian. Born to Mary Elizabeth and Frederick Fox, Virginia Fox was sent to boarding school and not much is known about her family and early life. What is known is that Fox went on a vacation from boarding school and traveled to visit a friend in Los Angeles. The two made a casual stop by the studio of Max Sennett, where she was allegedly hired on the spot and made a beauty in the studio's films. She went on to star in many of the early films of Buster Keaton, including 1920s Neighbors. Since being in Hollywood, Virginia Fox had the opportunity to meet her future husband, Daryl F. Zanuck. On January 12, 1924, she married film producer Daryl F. Zanuck, with whom she had three children, Derry Lynn, Susan Marie, and Richard Daryl. Fox retired from acting, but was known as the behind-the-scenes influence on her husband's business decisions. The couple separated in 1956 over the several affairs Zanuck had with other women, although they never legally divorced. About 30 years after the news was out that they were separated, Virginia Fox started running into health problems. On October 14, 1982, Fox died of a lung infection at her home in Santa Monica, California, after having been sick for about a year. She was buried near Daryl Zanuck at the Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery in Westwood, Los Angeles. Although her time on this earth came to an end, her legacy still lives on. Virginia Fox's talent and versatility made her a prominent figure in early Hollywood cinema. She worked alongside some of the era's most notable actors and directors, leaving her mark on the industry despite the transition to sound films in the late 1920s. While her career did decline with the inclusion of sound, her contributions to silent cinema remain an important part of film history.